Today we will take off the masking liquid and color the sunflowers beautifully. This paper all dried. So take out the salt. this salt effect beautiful beautiful effect okay next we take off the masking fluid from the paper so if you have this eraser, you can use it, or you don't have this eraser, you can use masking tape too. Just, uh, you can use this tape. Okay, or use finger, your finger. Try it slowly and gently. Love gently. I applied a lot of masking fluid, so it takes out easy. Okay. Start painting in sunflowers. Apply water on entire paper with number 5, Hwahong Map Brush. Mix yellow and water to make a light density and apply on all of the petals and except for some highlight area. The brush move from edge to center and the center of a flower to flower's edge. Brush move smoothly and gently. Sometimes just touching the paper very lightly. Okay, some more yellow. So this is number three density of colors. Adding on the number one density. Number one density of color. Need more yellow, adding on the uh, center area. Yellow mix, um, yellow ochre. So add on the uh, between petal. 
between pedal and edge of the pedal. This painting a uh, light coming left top side so this area is a little bit darker than left side. So I'm using yellow ochre mix yellow. Yellow mix, vermilion, and a little bit of yellow ochre. More get yellow ochre and vermilion. Some flower is many petals together make one flowers. So we need to draw uh, between petals some lines. Next, we're gonna draw a flower far in the distance. This is the center of the flower. Just to defi define, a um, little add on the uh, center, little dark color. This is a small feather. This color mixture yellow, yellow ochre, vermilion. Small sunflowers and here and there. This painting we uh, paint sunflowers in field. So many small flowers and yeah some uh, many flowers in the distance we are gonna start to paint in the center of the flower burnt umber mix burnt sienna color burnt umber put on the center of the flower this is number 4 density In the center of the flower, I painted with a very dry brush This uh, brush, this brush left behind little pockets or holes of negative space. This space will be the highlight area. Dotting on the center of the flower with burnt umber, number four density of color. Just to pick up the bit dark burnt umber, mix burnt sienna, put on the center of the flower edge, and uh, we're gonna use the brush as if we are drawing small dots by wet on dry. 
and draw the line between petals. Allow me to demonstrate and follow my example. Draw some leaves and this is a stem this one is a leaf small flower leaf This is the stem. Ultramarine mix, uh, sap green. So I withdraw the uh, leaves, flowers leaf. We use the light density of color because these flowers find the distance so we cannot see clearly through small leaves far in the distance these are looking cute small leaves here and there Pick up some ultramarine deep. Make very watery color. I want to darken this area with ultramarine deep. This gives the flower a three-dimensional look. Yellow mix, a vermilion. We can get some yellowish orange. 
Draw the line on the pedal. There are so many lines, so we can use just the tip of the brush. Clean the brush well and pick up the, some ultramarine deep and draw on the dark area. Put on the center of the flower. This is ultramarine deep color, very watery color. I think this area uh, too dark, so I will use a synthetic brush to scratch the area and take out some of the color. If you find you have made a mistake like this, you can use the same technique. In this area too, too dark, so I want to take out some uh, dark color here and there. Yeah, here too. Use the synthetic brush. We will learn many other watercolor techniques in next class.